while we jump up and down talking about assault weapons, this is a state that bans assault weapons. And I think we do a disservice to the solution when we turn it into politics. And that is what appears to be the case right now in Washington, D.C. But sir, politics have a huge influence in this. And as we look at what the NRA, which is a large lobbying group for gun manufacturers that is supported, they support you. You have an A rating from them. And you have voted yes on prohibiting liability for gun sellers and manufacturers. Yes on decreasing waiting periods, taking waiting periods down from 72 hours to just one day. Yes on a ban on gun registration and trigger lock laws in Washington, D.C. So how can you say that politics are not involved with this when we look at a voting record right there where well, the NRA gives you an A and allowing for people like an Adam Lanza to have access to the weapons that he had because Thomas, as we say his mother you know, might have had them legally but we cannot police what his mother is doing inside that house to keep Lanza away from those weapons. Yes, and none of the policy issues which you just ticked off would have prevented Adam Lanza from doing this. And it is very sad that we want to cloud the issue by making NRA the policy as opposed to Adam Lanza and what triggers this off. Think about Germany for a minute. Germany in the last 10 years has had three mass shootings and they had the strictest gun control in the world, including psychological profiling. Norway, the same way. They had a, a 69 people gunned down in 2011. Very strict gun control law. Czech Republic, next uh, nearby Germany has very lax gun control. They have not had this type of shooting. Now, so there's nothing willing, we can do. So Thomas, we need to we need Thomas, to just Thomas, we need to just I'm be complacent in the fact the that we can send uh, our children Thomas, to school to be assassinated. You know, I think that one of the problems we have on the gun control debate is it immediately starts dividing people into you disagree with me, therefore you're the enemy. I've opened up by saying let's put gun issues on the table for discussion. Let's include mental health, let's put video games, let's put homebound in there. And I think where there is some common ground, you could say the storage of weapons. But when we immediately start saying, well, you want this, therefore you dislike children or whatever, it's not productive to the debate. And I, I want to point out, I've been in Congress for a long time. I can tell you gun control debates are very, very difficult. But they always get clouded in the politics of partisanship. And I don't mean uh, Republican versus Democrat because this splits party lines. But I mean as pro-gun, anti-gun. I think if we want to have a reasonable discussion and address this, we have to look at what happened in Germany with all the gun control laws. It didn't prevent anything. What happened in Connecticut? get the fifth toughest gun control laws in the country. It did not prevent anything. So what I'm saying is you can't just stop at guns. You have to look at mental health.